Hello everyone, welcome back. I have an interesting um, experience that I want to share with you guys. Um, over the last uh, couple of days, I've been doing a lot of shooting uh, deep in the woods, a lot of combat style drills. And uh, this AR got very dirty and very hot. Um, so, you know, I probably have shot about 600 rounds through it. And I knew the gun was dirty. I kind of just wanted to see how far I could push it. Uh, so the gun was dirty. Uh, and it was hot. All right, those those instances where I shot, like, uh, you know, I, I put six magazines through it, uh, not back to back. You know, I wasn't trying to do that kind of an exercise, but I had shot six magazines through it. You know, uh, you know, then I did some other stuff, and then the next day, you know, basically I shot, uh, you know, another six magazines, and I had a a, a uh, you know a jam, okay, and I wasn't quite sure what happened. Um, so I looked at it and I see this situation. Initially, I'm looking at it, and I'm seeing that I have a round that's not feeding, um, and I, I really couldn't see. So, you know, first thing I want to do is just pull out the magazine. Shit, magazine, don't, there it goes. I finally got it out. I was having a hard time, especially when I was in the woods, and I was trying to do this fast. I was having a hard time pulling this magazine out. So, here's one of the things. Let me get that round out. So here's one of the things that uh, that I have learned. Okay, these Lancer magazines are great magazines. They're like almost indestructible. I've seen videos of people, you know, driving over these things with cars, dropping them with the, on their feed lips from uh, uh, from concrete. Uh, but but these lips are a lot harder than these plastic ones on the on the P Max. Um, same situation. I got a round stuck in the chamber. Right, a case stuck in the chamber. I'm gonna close it. Okay. So with the plastic ones, it comes out a lot easier. And the reason is because the plastic feed lips are a lot more flexible. Um, so, you know, and the first time that this happened, I was like, you know, I'm like yanking on it. And it just had, had happened in such a way that I could not get this out. Let's do this one more time. Get that round out of it. All right, now I got a different type of a jam. Baja, now I have... I just created a a, uh, um, a cartridge over bolt override. So the way we're going to unfuck this is we're going to basically, I'm going to put my middle finger in there, push back on the bolt. There you go. And you push forward on the charging handle, and that unjams that. There you go. So I got that out. So that's, it's kind of funny that I just created a different type of a jam with this exercise. Get that piece of shit out of there. Got it out. So these are the type of problems that you don't have with an AK-47. Okay, where's that round? I did not see that round come out. Come out. Okay, so it's out. Okay, I still have that 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 somewhere on the ground. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna use the same round so I don't keep beating it up. Uh, so again, with the with the with the plastic ones. If you have a case stuck in your chamber, right, and you close it, you close a shitty jam like that, the plastic ones come out because they're more flexible, okay? Get that out. All right, I'm going to take the same one now. I'm going to put it in the Lancer. Well, I've actually pushed the bullet back. So that's no good. Let's get another one. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing with the Lancer. Okay, because remember, these are harder... They're, they're, they're much harder feed lips, so they're not as flexible. I'm going to send it in. Okay, so basically it's trying to feed into a, uh, uh, into the back of a, of a case that's stuck in the chamber. It's a lot harder. There it goes. Got it. Um, and when this happened to me in the woods, man, I was yanking on this thing. You know, it's just the way it happened. I could not, I could not get it out. So um, that's one of the things that you've got to be aware of with the Lancer mags. I like them. Because they're indestructible. I've seen people run these over with cars, drop them on their feed lips, you know, onto concrete. Uh, so I prefer these for the type of exercises that I do. Uh, but if you're going into a combat situation, be aware if you have this type of a jam, uh, it's going to take you a little bit longer to, to rip the magazine out. The, the, the P mags are going to come out a lot easier. Um, now, let's talk about what happened to this gun. Um, you know, like I said earlier, I've been running this hot for a couple of days. Uh, so, that, so, so it's a combination. It's a perfect storm. I'm using, um, I'm, I'm running a dirty gun, right? So, and, and the gun is hot. Okay, the gun's hot. 
and I was using the, the lantern mags that had the uh, um, the uh, you know these harder steel lips that was preventing them from coming out. Um, and what happened is uh, I, I had a uh, uh, the extractor basically broke on me. Okay, I can see it now. I can see that the extractor is broken, so that's why that case is not coming out of there. Um, but um, the interesting thing is because I was using the um, the steel case, right? The other thing that that became a you know, really obvious is um, when I was in the woods, you know, in the bushes shooting, I couldn't tell because because these have a dark color. I couldn't tell that I had a um, a um, um, you know a case stuck in the um, um, in the chamber. Now, normally, if I'm just shooting at the range, I can see it, you know, because it's a different type of setting. But if I'm in like in a in a kneeling position shooting behind the bushes, you know. Um, I, I had a hard time, and, I, and you know, even right now, I'm, I, I'm having a hard time seeing that there's a uh, that there's a case stuck in that chamber, as opposed to if it's brass. If it's brass, it's shiny. You can see it. You can tell that you got a uh, um, a round stuck in the chamber. So that's one of the things to be aware of if you're using steel case, uh, you know, in a in a, in a real life and death type of situation. Um, if you do, if it does get stuck in there, you're gonna have a hard time, a much harder time seeing it than if it's brass uh, now that said yeah you know I, I definitely plan to keep using steel case I definitely plan to keep using these lancers because they work well for the type of drills and exercises that I do um, but in a uh, you know I would uh, you know definitely in a you know uh, life and death type of situation I would want to be using brass so I can see it more easily and see what's going on in my uh, in my chamber um, and I'm not sure yet if I would uh, actually switch over to the P mags there are some real benefits to the to the lancers um in, in that you can you know they're clear you can see through it uh i do have a broken extractor so one way or another this this gun's out of the fight you know so so you know the problem is that by not being able to rip the magazine out fast you know basically i was taking more time trying to get the magazine out whereas if it came out easier then i can get to the next step you know which is basically trying to figure out what's wrong with the gun um and like I said, if I had brass, I probably would have been able to see a lot quicker that I had a round in the, uh, um, you know, in the um, in, in the chamber. Uh, if you're using steel case, then and you don't see it, basically you're going to try and put another magazine in there. You're going to get the same jam again, and then you're going to say, okay, wait, there's something else going on, which is exactly what happened to me when I was in the wood. I said, okay, second magazine, same jam, something else is going on. So then I took a, a closer look at it, and I realized that 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 that's not coming out you know so then I took a look at my extractor and I saw okay shit my extractor is broken okay um, so but the problem is that not the problem this the, the the issue is that by the magazine getting stuck in there and me having to spend more time trying to yank it out it took me longer to move to the next phase of the diagnosis to figure out what's wrong with the gun so uh, that's just a, you know, a real life training example of you know something that I learned uh, you know today um, you know where you know it's kind of like a perfect storm there's like three different things going on here that that came together you know to, to you know to, to create a very interesting situation um I'm, I'm using steel cases which are a lot harder to see in the chamber especially if you're you know if you're in the shaded area um the uh the lancers are a lot harder you know the, the, the lancers are a little harder to to, to to yank out because they're less flexible um and you know of course like i said i'm using it i'm running the gun dirty and hot uh which is probably the reason why that extractor you know i mean the uh the, the, you know the chamber got 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 dirtier and hot um that's probably what what you know it was making the cases stick a little bit more in the chamber extractor was having a harder time pulling them out until it finally broke um and that's how i ended up where i'm at so uh, like i said a uh, very interesting uh, uh experience uh definitely um, you know, more than anything, I learned something about these Lancers and, and something that I need to be aware of, right? Uh, you know, if, if you have a jam, it's harder to pull the magazines out. So uh, if you guys find this useful, give it a thumbs up, share it. If you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time.